Okay, so for several weeks I have been working on and off on a video for Hermes, which I think the pronunciation, like the Greek pronunciation might be or may have, uh, which I love, that's how I use it. Um, and Hermes, of course, is, you know, often tied together in the public view with Mercury, with Toth or Thoth, I never say that right, sometimes with Tahuti, um, and with Saint Expedite or Expedite. So, which obviously none of these are the exact same being and Saint Expedite very much was a human saint. Uh, Thoth and Tahuti from a very different pantheon, Mercury and Hermes. Not only are they different gods, but Mercury is also a planet and they're from different pantheons. And I could not figure out why he would not let me make this video. Guides gave me the green light, my inner self gave me the green light, and old boy was like, nope, not yet. So, uh, <laughs> so here we are now, and I actually tried to take like four other videos before this, not about Mercury or, you know, Hermes at all, uh, but like as an update for the page, and they said no. As soon as I said I'm gonna do this Hermes video, stuff started coming through. So first things first, he says that a lot of his information is public domain <laughs> uh, because the goal of this video initially was to um, talk about Hermes, some of the well-known facts, some of working with him, and then to share some channeled things and some interview things. Because for me, when a, no, when a spirit wants to talk, they don't necessarily want me to be like, hey, here's the recipe for this. Like, they want to talk. And so I'm going to do my best to honor that. Okay, so Hermes, Armeja, Hermes Mercury, as I call him, is a supremely well-known messenger god. Hermes is one of the younger of the Olympians. Um, he is a child of Zeus and one of, you know, the earliest and most well-known myths about him is talking about him being a trickster, being an absolute little shit. And like, I love it though. So Hermes is a baby and he's born, he's you know, doing his little shit in his little crib, ooh, I'm baby Hermes, whatever. And he, he spies Apollo's golden cattle. They are gold, right? Don't mind me in the retelling. He spies the cattle and he's like, hmm, I bet they make pretty good milk. I bet I could go get those cattle. I think I can do it. And he does, he's a baby and he goes to get the cattle. And I don't remember exactly how he does it, but I think he covers up his tracks. Like he, oh, I was yelling because I had the heat on. Oh Lord, thank God y'all love me already. He, <laughs> he covered up his tracks going back and he got back in the crib and he covered himself back up or whatever. And Apollo sees that his fucking cattle are gone. And he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Who came into the pasture and stole my cattle? Who came to get my guys? What's happening here? And so he goes to Zeus. And Zeus is like, eh, what are you talking about? And he's like, bro, Pops, Hermes stole my cows. <laughs> and, and Zeus is like, no, no, he's a baby. And come to find out, Hermes stole the cows. So to make it up to Apollo and to, to kind of get a trade happening, Hermes says, um, oh, wait, is this it? Yeah, yeah. Hermes had made a liar out of a tortoise shell, right? So he tells Apollo, because Apollo goes to him, and mind you, Hermes is a baby here? And don't get me wrong, Apollo was also an impressive baby, but like, the myths kill me. A whole full-grown god walked up to his younger baby sibling, like, listen, what can I trade you to get my cows back? <laughs> so you know Hermes is, is powerful from jump. Let's not ever underestimate the friendly and messaging gods motherfuckers is quick from jump. So Hermes had made this instrument, the lyre, with the tortoise shell and the strings and all that. I think the sinew from the tortoises or whatever. And he tells Apollo, hey, tell you what, or maybe Apollo asked for it. You can have this. I'll trade you um, this to keep your cows, to keep your cattle, basically. And so this myth illustrates a, you know, Apollo making the move from a pastoral deity in some spaces into that um that that musical muse instrument dance song kind of stuff that we know him for although we know apollo for a lot more than that 
I can't get into it because they're brothers. They have a good relationship. If I start talking too much about one thing, they'll go on a tangent. It's kind of hard to do. It's like seeing a baseball going back and forth in my head between two catcher's mitts. Um, so, so this is Apollo kind of getting the music and, and going his way. And this is Hermes getting this pastoral element, right? So Hermes or, or, or Meha uh, was known in a lot of spaces prior to being a messenger god or prior, prior to being as well known for being a messenger god. Or Meha was actually a god of fertility and all over the area um, you would find things called herms and they were either just tall stones or pieces of wood like just a phallic shape or it could be carved to have a large like phallus and you know small facial features or whatever in general fertility things from ancient times i'm not a historian <laughs> from ancient times have exaggerated um you know reproductive organs and exaggerated spaces so these herms that's, that's what they were he was known for making shit grow so right now we're looking at pastoral we're looking at cunning and we're looking at growth fertility uh and keep that in mind as we go forward so Going forward, I'm asked to give two words to some of his associations. So, uh, Mercury, the planet association, of course, rules commerce, business, travel, communication, astrology, astronomy, mathematics, I think, writing, um, business, if I didn't already say that, a whole lot of things. In my mind, all roads lead to Rome. Mercury is that road all over the place, right? Um, and this also, of course, can tie into road opening, so to things actually being allowed through, things being allowed to pass. Uh, and if you look at various religious traditions, um, you have to have the road open before you can do anything else. You have to pay the messenger for the message to be delivered. Okay, so um, I don't know as much about Tahuti or about Thoth, at least not enough to speak confidently on them. That said, um, the development of certain magics the the actual creation of like writing of languages i think are attributed to them um i know there's more i i really try not to talk on the egyptian pantheons too much except for to ask questions because i just have not worked with them as extensively throughout my life uh but but so there's this writing being attributed to them certain magics being attributed to them whole systems being attributed to these deities that's important to note because apparently a lot of these energies do have either a shared parent i'm not gonna i'm gonna cut that off because they're gonna cut me off if i say that there, there's something it's some siblings there's some joint ties and spaces um and that's not the same for everybody all the time mercury is a special case there's something with mercury hermes like the messaging there's there's some weird parentage shit happening back there but anyway Tahuti, Thoth, magics, the development of them. Uh, so, so what we're seeing is not just from Hermes, you know, as we know Hermes, but from these other deities associated with them, Hermes Trismegistus, Hermetic magic. We're, we're looking at overall a collection that governs everything. It might not be directly governing sex, but sis, if you can't talk to him, then you're not getting none. So it, it, it governs. And I don't know why he's coming with the sass, but I think this was more about the fact that a lot of folks need to sit down and get in touch with who their messenger deity is. Who is your road opener? Who is your messenger? Who is the map maker? That's really the question. Hermes is incredibly friendly for the most part. Um, if he were a saint, I would I would label him as a cool saint, but not quite as cool as some. Not like you can skate by without giving him offerings, but more like he's very friendly, very accessible, and seems to be amenable to working with people from all over, from different groups. Um, obviously Greece, Rome, you know, at their heights, they were incredibly expansive empires lasting throughout various ages. Uh, they're near the Mediterranean Sea. There was lots of trading happening. People from all different cultures, you know, from Egypt, like the Gauls, like all over. So there's this energy of being able to communicate. Um, and okay, so now we're gonna launch into things that you can work with Hermes for because that's what he just said. So first things first, red wine. I am probably gonna get some today because I had been kind of wanting some 
and I couldn't place it till right now so red wine and honestly a sweet red red wine would be nice don't do a dry red wine I don't it's not it's not feeling like that works very good so go for a sweet even a sweet red blend it doesn't have to be the most expensive only bust out the good stuff if you're trying to get Hermes to stay and by the good stuff I mean good wine good quality not like not like just good wine but like expensive good wine like the expensive expensive like not even <sighs> if you give Hermes your best stuff Hermes will stick around as friendly as this deity is for example if you offer Hermes sex magic doll is friends forever he's now one of your floating boyfriends if he likes you and and that's that and it's different when you work with a deity just you know for some light things versus developing a relationship with them right so for Hermes if you want to keep it on the surface keep it on the surface and communicate that clearly if you are the kind of person that uses all you know different kinds of methods uh, to make your magics work communicate those clearly as well um, Greek deities Greco-Roman deities uh, we're accustomed to regular worship not only you know as a part of a polytheistic whole so there were city deities household deities um you know deities for war for for messages for all this stuff but also you know they did have priests they had their own temples they had their own devotees uh and so so you know be careful that you don't you don't put out the signals that you're open to a devotional relationship without intending to um, and that goes for everybody. A lot of things that are going to be said here, I or we say because I like I am channeling and I, it's, I'm always nervous doing that in front of people because there's like a lot of stuff happening on the inside. But but a lot of things that are going to be said are supposed to be good messages for for other things too. Because a lot of you are opening up. A lot of you are opening up. And he doesn't mean just his children or um, kids of the Greco-Roman pantheon or places like that. He's talking about a lot of you who um, some of you are already spiritualists, some of you are not, but I see a lot of communication gifts opening up, a lot of audio gifts opening up, so do please keep your ears open. Uh, so yes, be careful that you are giving out the signals that you want to give out. Be clear in communication. Red wine is a good one to offer a sweeter red wine. Um, don't get Dionysus crazy with it just like one glass for him and maybe a glass for you and that's really all you need um, because also if you have more than that Hermes can get off track the Greek gods not all of them but some of them can be kind of social and like any spirits you need to direct what you're doing because otherwise they can go all over the place when that happens you're in a poppy field you're looking at this all the way over here you're eating the lotus blossoms meanwhile time is just flying by um what else speaking of poppies and poppy fields hermes mercury or meha is a psychopomp so uh and i know we're moving around a lot so just bear with me um he's a psychopomp which means he ferries the souls of the dead to the underworld he ferries the souls of the dead to hades and this doesn't necessarily mean that he's always out here killing folk Although I think it was Hermes that slayed Argus. Um, could be wrong, I have to double check. I think it was Hermes that slayed Argus. Uh, but was it him or Hypnos? It might have been him with Hypnos. Anyway, Hermes is usually non-violent, but, but he's a messenger and a psychopomp. So um, Hermes can be worked with for necromantic works, for working with the dead, for mediumship, for seances, for various types of communication. Uh, for treasure hunting or treasure seeking and for locating this one's new to me and this one is something that pairs very much with his like specifically a chthonic aspect and um a fertility aspect and normally i wouldn't see these two things together quite in this way i mean they do go together a lot because life death rebirth um, but but this is specifically um, being able to ask Hermes to lead you to the proper planting area for something um, so so being able to garden correctly because he'll know what nutrients are there that was weird and I don't know why that it's something to do with like locating um, it's something to do with locating nutrients it's very specific 
it's oh 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 because he knows hades and hades the underworld is you know where all the earth's riches are it's not just the underworld for the dead but it is the underworld it's it's the inner earth he knows where all of that stuff is so he can also identify minerals which reminds me hermes might be good to help you find gemstones also so this is a little bit scattered um i'm trying to remember because a couple people had questions like how how could i work with hermes more um or easier and I think if there was anything, like what, like what to know about him. I'm seeing a lot of red right now, which I, I guess I do use red with Hermes, like for Mercury work. Um, but right now I'm seeing it specifically like red wine, red lipstick, confidence, low key, like, again Hermes was a fertility god like he used to be known for that and he's he's giving this energy right now of how do you catch the attention of somebody who really knows they're all that how how do you catch the attention of that individual and it doesn't mean you have to think of Hermes as like hyper masculine like at, at all um Like, be bold. Know how to ask for what it is that you actually want. Don't be afraid to ask for what you actually want to know. Don't be afraid to bend the rules in asking questions. The Greek pantheon is surprisingly flexible, or at least a lot of the um, things adjacent. You must fulfill all offerings or pledges before starting a new petition. And within a month of you feeling like whatever your work was done was done. So earlier when I said kind of a cool spirit, yes, kind of a cool spirit, but like do what you said you would do within a month of you feeling the work has concluded. That's a really good rule anyway for any spirits. Um, you know check in make sure you know the work is concluded and make sure you talk to them about it uh so that so that um you don't you don't run into any problems with your spiritual credit you don't want to be known as somebody who doesn't keep their word you don't want to be known as a spiritual person who doesn't know how to pay their dues it's almost like having a uh fuck 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 the driving thing like lift if you have a bad rating as a lift driver it's not going to work spirits will not do the work for you Ermeha is a deity also. Again, this is a deity, not an angel, not a friend. Still very much, there are still pieces unknown about him and multiple other deities that are going to come to the surface. And going forward, it's going to be increasingly more and more and more important to understand the epithets, the paths, and the roadways of who you are working with, when you are working with them, how you are working with them, and how they are addressed. When is which epithet called? How often was somebody called something? Just because you know the names and you know to call them with the names to show your respect does not mean you always need to call them. You have to know when what was used and know how it was used. You have to know that. You can work with Ermeha using Cairns, C-A-I-R-N, Cairn. Um, pretty sure I'm remembering that the right way. Cairns are seen in like Celtic, uh, culture and magics and things like that. And they're stacks of stones. Um, what I'm feeling is that this could either represent, um, you know, a very rudimentary hern or herm, um, 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 or function as a temple for outdoor works. Ideally work with Ermeha outdoors not indoors he is an expansive spirit uh in in non-anthropomorphized human form uh he appears to be manifesting as a mass milky way type shape made of smoke with millions of arms just millions of arms incredible reach so don't don't work with him inside unless you have space and you're the only one home um otherwise your space is going to feel it for like a few days lasting 
it's hard to get all of his essence out of the house. Um, and the house needs to be made clean for him if you're bringing him in. And that doesn't mean the same clean as some spirits because not every spirit is the same. A water spirit might want a clean home with clean fresh bowls of water and a wind spirit might want a clean home with space for the wind to move around and an earth spirit is going to want a clean home with space for things to grow and be in order but they don't all look the same okay so uh you know wind spirits are going to want things to work through and play with and talk to if you're outside or mayha can move through the trees if you're inside he can't move through the leaves if he's outside you can get a lot more done if he's inside you can't get it done because there's nowhere to go when you're inside, you believe too much in the limitations of your walls. When you're outside, you don't see any walls but the horizon. When you're outside, you do more work because you see more space. When you're inside, you do less work because you see less space. Armeha is good for removing illusions. Armeha is good for removing that which isn't even really there. What are boundaries? What are rules? He was bending rules as a baby. You can bend rules now. I didn't talk about Saint Expedite. He, the feeling that I get is that Saint Expedite is like a nephew, brother, like a beloved, like he is a favored. Um, don't talk shit about Saint Expedite. Make sure to not take advantage of him being slow to anger. Give him his dues. And he said, don't sleep on the messengers. There's so many different types of messengers. Wor words, images, etc. Get to know the messengers. Get to know. Make a relationship. There are there are deities whose names only one person in the world will ever know at a time. There are beings who will only share secret names with five people. Maybe over 50 years or more. Not everything is for everyone. But what's for you is for you. And what's for you, you need to listen to. So... That's pretty much it. I, th I think that's it finally. I think that's it finally. And I am inside the house right now. <laughs> I didn't intend to do this <laughs> to do this one today. <laughs> um, well, shit. <sighs> okay, I, I think I think that was it for for Mercury, for Ormeja, um, a couple follow-up facts, uh, Mercury, the planet rules Wednesday, um, so Wednesday is ruled by Mercury, um, Mercury is associated with the archangels Michael and Raphael, as well, of course, as the deity Mercury, Hermes, um, Wednesdays have to do with communication, etc., etc., I know that we're in Mercury retrograde, which of course lasts from its pre-retrograde shadow to its like post-retrograde shadow. Um, I feel like it's really important to note that Mercury helps you identify, not just during the retrograde, but at any time. Uh, identify where your roadblocks are, identify where multiple roads are, help show you certain shortcuts and paths. Um, Mercury can help you develop your own understanding of certain things, can help you create your own system, uh, and, and help you to categorize information. My advice for getting closer to Mercury, um, and what I'm hearing is, yes, this includes the deity Hermes, uh, is to study systems, to get to know archetypes and mythology, to look at patterns overall. Even though Mercury is the fastest moving planet, it's the one that gets to move through the most cycles in planets, i.e. as it's moving, it gets to observe all of the other planets' motions, their songs, their systems, their retrogrades, their stars, their moons, etc. Therefore, Mercury gets to see, in a multitude of ways, how everything works. So if you want to know how something works, tap into Mercury with it. Um, Mercury does, of course, appreciate fresh break, baked bread. I'm seeing sesame seeds and olive oil. Um, I, I started out most of my work with the, with the Greek deities and 
continued that for, <laughs> for probably eight years or so. And even though a lot of my work now is like a blend of the bibble and that, uh, olive oil is always like a go-to. Spirits from those areas in general seem to really fuck with olive oil. So that one works for me. Um, cinnamon is a good spice. Warm cinnamon and olive oil and do a hair treatment with that and then bless it. Like bless, you know, like a quick hot oil, treat, hot oil treatment, even if it's in the microwave. Get your oil, get your cinnamon, blend it, you know, put it on your head, put your little shower cap on, dampen a towel, heat up the towel in the microwave, wrap your hair with that so you get all the good heat because I don't have like a hood dryer at home. So get all the good heat and, uh, and you know, before you put it on your hair, bless it, bless it invoke Hermes into it if you feel extra zesty because a blessing or a consecra consecration goes a real long way your words are real powerful if you end up throwing in an invocation with it you're gonna go ahead and have yourself a whole extra deity up there you're gonna have a friend for a day and a half so you know do the invocations when you really want that essence within otherwise just bless it hey Mercury's charms are all on this I'm quick-witted today tomorrow and the next day and every day after amen however you want to do it. Um, okay, that was it. That was it for real. <laughs> that was so much more than I expected. Uh, I love you guys and thank you. Bye.